We're going to do a quick revision of multiplication and division with decimals. And before we do that, we just need to quickly remind ourselves of multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, 1000, etc. So let's just quickly look at something like 0, 0,05 multiplied by 1000. Now, because our decimal number system is based on 10, multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1000 doesn't change the number, it just changes the place value. Let me show you what I mean by this. For each 10 we multiply by, what we do is we just move the place value over by 1. So if it's by 1000, we need to move it over by 3 place values. And so we will end up with an answer of... Well, okay, it'll be 0050, comma, so that is just 50. Um, and if we had to take, for example, 0, comma, 3, and we need to divide it by 100, what we're doing is we're going to be shifting the place value over so it comes smaller, so we need to move it over by 1, two places making it smaller and so our comma will come in there and so our answer is 0, 0,003. All right, with that I can easily do multiplication. Let's have a look at doing something like 0, 0,281 times 0, 0,336 for example. Now what I want to do with this is I want to first get rid of all the commas. So basically what I want to do is turn this into 281 multiplied by 36. Well, how have I managed to do that? Well, to turn it into that, I've had to take this one and multiply it by a thousand. And I've had to take this one and multiply it by a hundred. Now, let me do 281 times 36. So I'm going to do that norm like I didn't do normal multiplication. Let's just go over this very carefully. I have to start from the right, and I say 6 multiplied by 1, and I get 6. Then I say 6 multiplied by 8. 6 multiplied by 8 gives me 48. So I put 8 down here and I carry the 4 over. Then I say 6 multiplied by 2, that's 12, and 12 plus the 4 is going to give me 16. Now when I go, I have to still multiply through by this 3, but it's not only a 3, it's in fact a 30 because of where it is, so I must put the 0 into here first and then I can carry on multiplying. 3 times 1 just gives me 3. Then I say 3 times 8 is 24. So I put down the 4 and I carry the 2. Then I say 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 gives me 8. Now I need to add these. 6 and 0 is 6. 8 and 3 is 11. Put down the 1, carry the 1. 6 and 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 1, carry 1, 8, 9, 10, it's like that. And so my answer to this is that. Now, is it the answer to the question I started with? No, it's not, right? The question I started with was 0, 0,281 times 0, 0,036. I cheated by dropping the commas. So I cheated by multiplying by a thousand and multiplying by a hundred. So I must undo my cheat by just reversing my cheat. So I need to reverse the first cheat by dividing by a thousand. And then I need to reverse the second cheat by dividing by a hundred. In other words, I must first go back three because I went forward 3, and then I must come back another 2, because I went forward by 2, and so I will get an answer of 0, 0,10116. 
Okay, I want you to try one quickly now. Let's have a look at 0, 0,21 times 0, 0,4. Do that in your homework books. Pause the video now. All right, so to do this one, you do 21 times 4. In order to do that, you've multiplied by 100 and you've multiplied by 10. 21 times 4 should be very easy to have got the answer of 84. But that's not the actual answer we want, right? We cheated here by multiplying by 100, so we must undo that by dividing by 100. And we cheated here by multiplying by 10, so we must undo that by dividing by 10. And so the comma will end up over there, so our answer will be 0, 0,084. Division is even easier. If we want to look at 1, 38 divided by 0, 6, what I'm going to do is simply rewrite that division as a fraction, because we know that fraction line simply means division. So this says 1, 38 times 0, 6. Now I can use my knowledge of fractions to equivalent fractions to help me get the answer to this very easily. What I want to do is I don't want to have any decimal commas at the bottom. That causes me the problem. So I need to get rid of the decimal comma at the bottom. Well, how can I do that? Easy, multiply by 10. But if I want to make an equivalent fraction, what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So let's multiply the top of this fraction by 10. And so this is exactly the same as 13 comma 8 over 6. Now that is easy to calculate. I line up the commas and I go. 6 into 1 can't go, so 6 into 13, that goes twice, that's 12, remainder 1, and 6 into 18 goes 3 times, and so my answer is 2 comma 3. Okay, you check you've got this idea by doing 1 comma 05 divide 0 comma 5 in your homework books. Pause the video now and try it. All right, so that was 1, 0, 5 over 0, 5. We want to get rid of the comma in the bottom, in the denominator. So we again, in this case, are just going to multiply by 10. But if we do it to the bottom, we must also do it to the top. So here we get 10, 5 over 5. And so then I say, all right, what is 5 into 10, 5? I put the comma in the same place, and I say 5 into 10 is, goes twice, 5 into 5 goes once. So my answer here is 2, 1.